Hey you guys, I'm sure you all know, my name is Paul. Uh, let's see, how do I start this? This is going to be my first YouTube video. Basically what I'm going to do is, uh, don't know what I've been doing for the last couple of years, but my idea is I got a couple, like, a couple of dollars saved up for emergency funds. I'm going to be traveling around the United States, probably go down to the South Coast and then go to, East, like basically a big circle. And I'm going to try to hitchhike, spend the least amount of money possible. Might get me into some trouble though, you know, there's a lot of weird people out here, but hey, fuck it, like, <laughs> I'm very adventurous, like, why not? Not a lot of people get to do this, uh, I'm sure the first viewers right now are gonna be on Facebook, because that's where I'm posting it, like, y'all, uh, I'd appreciate it if y'all can get me started, um, most of you are military, I hope you guys are safe, and you keep doing your shit, I miss you all, uh, hit you up, if, like, I'll be, I'll keep it posted what state I am, I'm probably gonna try to hit at least... 37 like I'm gonna be everywhere so uh, I'm gonna be doing vlogs every day and I'm just gonna try to find some good content right here is my first video like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but hey fuck it I'm just gonna go with it like why not so first of all I wanted to tell you guys a story um, I'm sure like a lot of you already know this uh, I've struggled for the past four years I wasn't able to hold a job um, I've gotten to a lot of fights with close friends and I took it out on people that, you know, didn't really deserve it. Uh, I've just had a lot of shit happen to me when I got out of the military. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I guess that's no excuse. I don't know. Because, like, I joined when I was 18 and I'm sure most of you know, like, they literally give you everything when you're in the military. They, they house you. They feed you. They, like, I literally paid no bills. I didn't have a credit card. Like, I didn't have car payments. So, like... Every two weeks, I was getting about, like, $800. Yo, I was going to the bar. I was spending it, going to clubs, buying clothes. Like, and then when I got out, I still had that spending habit, <laughs> but I didn't have the income. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, you got to pay for rent. You got to pay for fucking, like, just miscellaneous shit. It's crazy. So, y'all in the military, you think got it bad? <laughs> I'm telling you, stay in there. That shit's good. Keep it up. Do your 20 years. Get retired. Um, all right, so I wanted to tell you a story, right? So... I finally just started doing good and I'm on my feet now like if I owe you money uh, hit me up on Facebook I promise you I'll pay you with interest because I know a couple of you lending me money I'm not sure I don't remember hit me up on Facebook I got your back I'll give you interest like you just got to hook up your like PayPal or whatever I, I can't even transfer it to your bank account like I'm good right now so about two weeks ago right um, I'm hanging out with my parents, you know, I got back home trying to, you know, reconnect that bond that I lost with them because I went a little cycle for a while and I took it out on them and it wasn't fair, like, I didn't know what was going on. So, two weeks ago, I go to Market Basket and then I'm, I'm getting about, like, ten lobsters, like, some crab legs, like, like a shit ton of food for my family. And my mom's Portuguese, so she's going to cook those lobsters, like, I'm telling you, they're really good. <laughs> so I was excited, right? Um, I was a little tipsy, it was about like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, like, I drink, like, I don't do, I don't do drugs, like, I've done drugs, but I, I like to drink, like, hey, hey, anybody in the military loves to drink, that's just, it comes with the package, so anyways, I was, I was a little tipsy, and then I'm outside waiting for my Uber to, to go back home, and this girl comes up to me, and she's like, hey, can I have a cigarette, I'm like, you know, a lot of people in Lowell ask you for a cigarette, I'm like, sure, whatever. Because if you don't have a cigarette and you ask someone, like, it's so nice when you get it. And I believe in karma, so <laughs> I'll eventually get a cigarette back if I need it. That's okay. Anyways, I gave her a cigarette, and then she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you gave me a cigarette, but, like, I really need some money, too. Like, I'm struggling right now. My first thing was, like, I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe. But then, like, my instincts kicked in because I was there before. And I was like, you know what? Fine. So I opened up my wallet, right? I started handing her a dollar. And then my drunk side, which I usually become more charismatic and I'm more friendly. And I'm like, you know what? Here's 20. And she's like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, that's so much. And I'm like, I'm looking at my wallet. I probably have like $120 in there. And I'm like, you know what? Hey, just take it all. Like, fuck it. Uh, like, to me, that's good karma. And, it, and it's not even about the karma. It's the fact that you're helping out another person that needs it. Because when I didn't have shit, they were like probably four or five people that actually tried to help me when everybody has money they'll come to you they want to party with you but when you have nothing you ask for someone else they'll ignore you they'll make up excuses like it's fucked up if we all helped each other 
We'd all be better people, trust me. Spread peace. Anyways, so I give her the money. She doesn't say thank you, she doesn't say anything. She just immediately starts running down the street. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm thinking to myself like, oh, she's going to her boyfriend, right? Like, cause you know, people play games like that. Like they tag team you, you know? So I'm like, oh, she's going to her boyfriend, like fine. So I sit down waiting for an Uber. And then this other girl comes up and she's like, did you really just do that? I'm like, do what? She's like, do you really just give all that money? And I'm telling you right now, like, <laughs> I'm a guy, so she's like this 21 year old, like Colombian chick, extremely attractive, <laughs> green eyes, everything. So I'm also a little tipsy, so I get, I get like overconfident. I'm like, yeah, I did. And I was like, wow, you have like amazing eyes. And like, she looked at me, she gave me, she wanted to hug me. She, she asked for my number. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do you guys a favor, right? This is what I, te I texted her. I said, I'm gonna get you guys a hotel room for the night. I'm gonna post you up there for a couple of nights and I want you to like relax because they said they were sleeping on the ground. Like that shit sucks, you need sleep. So we go, so she's like, okay, okay. So the first order of business, I take them to the movies. Obviously I'm interested in this girl, but that's not why I did it. You know, we smoke a blunt, whatever, and it's legal in Massachusetts. Like that's probably the best way to connect with somebody. I bring a blunt, we smoke it, we go in, we see a scary movie, I pay for everything, it's all good. And then we go to the hotel and they're like, oh, you can just get like a, a two bed, like, cause I was gonna get a separate room. Like, I'm not disrespectful like that. Like, I just don't wanna be like, yeah, you're gonna share. They're the ones who offered me, be like, oh, okay, let's just get two beds, we trust you. I'm like, okay, that just saves me money, sure. So, the past two weeks, like, I've been buying them food, cigarettes, and get this, three, three days into it, her friend, the one who initially asked me for the money, was like, I'm a heroin addict, like, I need heroin. And I was like, uh, like, she was sick too, like, I, I know people, like, especially veterans, like, they, they either, they're either alcoholics or, or fucking heroin addicts, like, it sucks. So, I had, like, a moral check, I was like, do I get her heroin, or don't I, because she, like... So I decide, I don't give a shit if it's elite, whatever. I get her some Suboxone, and I was like, yo, I will help detox you in the hotel so you don't have to go to a facility, have your insurance pay for whatever, like, I want you to detox. And she's like, yeah, sure, why not, yeah, yeah. So I get her about a month's supply of Suboxone. Cause like, I, I really try to bring people up. Like, it, if you try to like discriminate those people, think they're less than you, like, you're fucked up. You need to help them. So I get her like this 30, can't say the exact amount, but I get her enough to, to help her detox. And like the first day was good. And then uh, her friend, the Columbia chick that I'm really attracted to, like she's obviously trying to like work on me. I see that now. She's like, oh, can we get some money so we can go out? Like, I just want to spend some time with her, whatever. I'm like, sure, why not? Give him like a hundred bucks. I was like, oh, we need an Uber too. I was like, okay. So they go to the market basket where I met them. <laughs> Happens to be a really popular drug spot. I caught them in the bathroom, like shooting heroin and shit. And I was like, like, listen, like this hotel is under my name. I don't want you to like, oh, like it's unacceptable. You know what I mean? So I yelled at them. They promised me to like, they were like begging me like, oh no, we'll stop, we'll stop, we'll stop. I was like, okay, then stop. So, <laughs> so I go on with it. About another week. This is like two weeks in total, by the way, that I'm renting a hotel room and letting these two girls crash there because they have nowhere else to go. And mind you, I didn't try any sexual, fa like nothing, like no sexual advances, like nothing like that. I was just trying to be nice. You know what I mean? So the last couple of days, this Colombian chick starts giving me an attitude and she's basically like, oh, I need money. Like, are you going to help me or do you want me to go on the street? Like, Ridiculous, ridiculous. Like the second day they came to the apartment, like I bought them new clothes. Like I was like, cause when you're homeless and then like you're on the streets for so long, like your clothes are dirty. You're like, you, you know, like, you want to take a shower, be, get clean. So I bought them like a, a whole new outfit, whatever. <sighs> Long story short, yesterday she's like, dude, I don't even need you. She's like, you want to, you want to be like, oh, Mr. Perfect. Like you can save me from the hood and shit. And I was like, I'm not even trying to do that. 
So I'm like, yo, you gotta leave like by 11 a.m. tonight. I mean 11 a.m. this morning because I'm not renting this hotel out no more. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so yes, I'm a sucker. But, shit. However, I'm not gonna change the way I am. Because <laughs> as soon as you let people like that change you, it's over. <laughs> I'm gonna continue being nice, threading good, like, that kind of hurt me in a way. I wasn't trying to like look for relationships or anything. I was just trying to help someone out and then maybe like bring them up. Hello. Well, first YouTube video, um, I'll give a couple shout outs to the people that did help me when I had nothing. Uh, let's see. Uh, first one out to Tony Carabella. He hooked me up when I was in Georgia. I had no funds. Realized, bro, I love him. Air Force. Uh, second person, let's see. Um, Katrina made sure she was good. She helped me out on PayPal. So did uh, Emmanuel. Love you, bro. I miss you. Say hi to John for me. Um, who else? Let's see. Uh, Christina Volgari has also helped me out. You know, we're really not on good terms, but she's still a good person. <sighs> who else helped me out? And if I forget you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, oh, shit. It's just been so long. But, uh, yeah, hey, guys. Uh, give me an honest review. See what I'm going to do for content because... I'm probably going to stay in Lowell for the next weekend, but I'm moving out. Like, I'm, I'm going to be videotaping, documenting, like, everything I see, meet new people and shit. So, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> I got a year, so. Hey, if, if it doesn't work out, it's still an experience, right? All right. Love you guys. Peace.